Yeah, well, here we are in Penticton at BC at Gyro Park. A little tardy, we're about 11.20. Lots of dogs. Well, let's go march on Monsanto. Lots of people showed up. Considering it was only listed. It also meant seeing Monsanto become less than 24 hours ago. So what should be with the liability of Monsanto? Monsanto works no out bus services in the flood and transition is, but in a reasonably healthy financial situation with the other company doing it. <laughs> Quite a clever colour in life. The key the key to Monsanto is. Oh, sorry, what you want to see? Yeah, of course making friends. I want to get a better shot of the stage here, Beth. Get your sign there, you don't mind? Oh no, go ahead. Thank you. Brad back in order. As a legally different corporation from Monsanto than it existed from 1901 to 2000. This was despite the fact that both Monsantos shared not just the same name, but the same corporate headquarters near St. Louis, Missouri, and many of the same executives and other employees, not to mention much responsibility for liabilities arising out of its former activities. As Monsanto had moved into biotechnology... Well, there's got to be 375 people right in the park area. They began to and there's the right on the edge of a farmer's market a there on Main Street. So there's world. hundreds Monsanto's and hundreds of people there. Good call. Oh, wide spectrum of people, too. I mean, considering we don't have that a wide bearing dem age demographic in the south of Northern. You know, like 70% are uh, over 56 years old. Young. Old. Young, well, depends how you want to look at that. Glass half empty or half full. Roundup in the face of challenges once uh, Monsanto could face once the patent expired, which was coming up soon. Monsanto eventually achieved this by introducing. She's giving you the short jib on the Monsanto, well, the entire gene patent this allowed Monsanto scam. Specifically expand market for Roundup and more importantly, help Monsanto, uh, Monsanto to negotiate. I don't know if she's going to touch on the. Uh, Ma matrix of life aspect, which is, you know, immeasurable by mere dry math. How do you replace my Earth's life matrix or any planets? Exactly how it was. I mean, not that it is how it was since it the first Monsanto of our homo sapien on the stage to do. We're not GM crops. 
but Monsanto's controversy with GM cattle drug, bovine growth hormones, Oh, here, I didn't even show you guys. Oh, here, look. I, I whipped up his shirt at the last minute there. The uh, <coughs> film markers were kind of dry, but we'll give you a look. Hopefully you can still hear what's on the stage. There you go. Hey, peace out. Live long and prosper. I'll let you hear her do her thing. up and down in your uh, theater seat there and like you should compensate. cities. But I do want to thank uh, James Miller from the uh, Penticton Herald. He has been plugging it for us. Thank you, James. I think he's somewhere here. <laughs> and uh, as well, uh, Dennis Walker from uh, So Country, uh, which is really, oh, there's James. Yes, Dennis Walker is back on the air, which is nice to hear. Uh, again, that's a part of corporatization. Again, how uh, Dennis and the boys lost their uh, box there. But we're going to talk about that stuff at the, uh, at the end when we get into the solutions part. So what we're going to do is we'll, when we do get to that part, we're going to break it up and finish it up over there at the Nymo Square there when we're setting in front of Dan Alvis' office. 
And just one more quick thank you. Uh, I actually, uh, I, I don't know how many people are familiar with uh, Heidi Osterman and the True Food Foundation. Okay, so she is an incredible lady. She's a certified nutritionist who, for the past three, four years since I've known her, has been uh, raising awareness to, uh, to genetically modified foods here in our Okanagan. And she's probably, and she hates when I do this, but she's probably dropped about twenty to thirty thousand dollars out of her pocket to do this for us. And uh, sadly, but in a good way, she's not here today. But I got her to give me a quote to tell you guys because. Um, she's actually in uh, Berlin, Germany right now addressing crowds on Monsanto. Um, the rally is in front of the Chancellor Angela Merkel parliamentary address. Heidi is telling Germany about the Canadian experience with GMOs and the warning and warning them that they must not feel with the label and and are lucky that their government See, has protected have them so far, contrary to Canada. They don't Heidi will also be telling them about here. Monsanto Protection Act and Michael Taylor's role in the U.S. policy. Few private providers are she trying. is warning Europeans that Canada is considering the approval so of the GMO alfalfa, uh, hay that animals eat, and uh, that it will be the beginning. It will be the beginning to the end of organic meat and dairy industry. Not have other points of discussion are no the results of, of uh, Serenina's study, that's uh, the world's no. only long-term feeding study. Monsanto fed rats GMO corn for three months and Health Canada approved it. The French scientists took the same type of rats and fed the same GMO corn for two years and the results were shocking. Liver and kidney damage and widespread tumors. Although no Monsanto products, uh, Heidi will be uh, sharing information about specifically to uh, fruits non-browning, the art, uh, arctic apple, the aqua bounty hormone producing salmon as further threats to our food supply. Everyone has a role uh, by sending a letter to the editor, the politicians and their staff to pay close attention to the letters as the, pub, uh, as the pulse of the public. It doesn't have to be a great letter and it doesn't have to be long. The editor of uh, many letters um, come in about uh, one subject. Your letter is registered even if it is not printed. Please be respectful. The strategy worked in Kelowna after recent rallies and local papers are still printing the letters they have received a month later. So it is effective. So guys, do write the letters, send the petitions. More importantly though, more, I mean, a lot of us uh, that are on uh, Facebook and the social media, we call a lot of the people clicktivists. You know, they press like and share and they sign a petition. But we have to get out in the public like we are here. So again, I'm so happy to see this is the best turnout I've ever seen. This is fantastic. Um, so she yeah, I'm to... very happy considering she to how little notice there was. Thanks to my son, location, Jamie, location, Noel, location, Borat, eh? And Jamie for making the Penticton rally possible. So from Heidi. Okay? Yeah, being just down uh, from that. Now, uh, without further ado, here we got Mignon, and she's going to be speaking uh, with Local the Canadian Agency market. of Canada. Farmers Market. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. They just set it up in the street. When I was uh, working with the crowd to get this uh, going, they said, oh, well, you know, if you get 50 people here, we'll be lucky. So I am so inspired by the turnout here, so thank you so much. My, my talk is about Yeah, we're down to about government. 220 Monsanto now. Monsanto's a bad guy, we all know that. But our government is complicit, so we need to be recognizing that Very and we need to hold our officials accountable. So yep. part of the committee's job, Josie invited every elected politician. She invited Dan Elvis. Are you here, Dan Elvis? No. How's she that invited Stop, a new, Stephen uh, Harper. Liberal member to uh, to uh, Victoria Dan Ashton. Are you here, Dan? She invited every elected official on the Penticton Council. Is there any elected official here from Penticton? One. Uh -oh. to address this issue, that they are not interested in what oh, we I'll have to say, the one and that is very disturbing up. because this is not yeah. just our lives, but our children's lives, our grandchildren's lives, our yeah, great great grandchildren's lives, and it is probably the most important issue facing this planet right now. So, my name is Mignon Wood, I am a retired educator. And I strongly believe that when we live in a democratic society like Canada, we should be guaranteed certain rights and freedoms. And our government, our government. 
government has a responsibility to protect these rights and freedoms. The right to know what we eat is a fundamental right so that we can exercise our freedom to choose the foods that we buy in the stores. But right now, in 1996, our federal government showed a total lack of respect for us and our rights when they introduced the first GM products without any public discussion uh, and without any warning. Hey, hey look here, man. Canada. As 17 as years later, and that's what it's been. So when you start looking at 17-year-olds, you know that their whole life has been exposed. Somebody to will identify them and foods. put it in the comments and if you will. The older, the younger the child, the more foods. It's a very scary thought. 17 years later, we still have, do not have the right in Canada to know what foods have been genetically engineered because our federal government has de declined to make labeling of GMOs Glad to see one mandatory. Democratic representative show up. Oh, Canada. Where are you, Stephen Harper? According to Health Canada and the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, these are the two agencies that have responsibility for food safety and labeling under the Food and Drugs Act. They say that food derived from genetic modification that are demonstrated to be safe and nutritious are to be treated the same as non-genetically modified foods in, with the regards to labeling. So no labeling for GMO foods according to Canada. See that? Just like in the U.S. Well, first of all, we have to ask, demonstrate it to be safe and nutritious. Well, where is the evidence that they're safe and nutritious? Yeah, look below that link there. Right, what? That'll lead you to a whole shitload of. You need to know that not safe, uh, the Health Canada and the Canadian Food Inspection data. Agency do not conduct any scientific tests. That's not their role. But they're to protect us. What happens with this is genetically modified foods are approved for human consumption based on industry produced science that is not peer reviewed and the public has no access to this information. Ultimately, it's the food producers who bear the responsibility for assuring See, safety. lots of dogs showed up. And they care about what it was eating. In Canada now, they care about the humans. We have the foxes guarding the hen house. Especially you homo sapiens. Well, 60 countries worldwide, including Japan, South Korea, China, Australia, no, he's so hard. He knows what's going on. Countries have significant <laughs> restrictions and outright bans on the production and sale of GMOs. Sure, not we'll so see. in we'll see. Canada, the one one U.S. Here. Oh, Canada. So why not Canada? That fluffy puppy over there. Well, we are in a war to control the world's food, and Canada is a main player. Canada is heavily invested in the biotech industries. In fact, Canada is one of the largest producers of GE foods in the world, including corn, Lots of puppies. canola, soy, and sugar beet. Crops that are widely used in thousands of processed foods well, I hope we the see every cut day in our grocery stores. Foods that are being sold right with GMOs in them, and none of them, Do you need not shape? one of them, is, has had that GMO tested for human safety. As one of the produce, top producers of GM foods, Canada is set to become a leader in the emerging global bioeconomy. This is the brave new world Better. of modern trade agreements, where protection of health and environment is not a sufficient reason for government action. I can't believe I left the water in Canada. <laughs> But you know, I kind of need to stand as a sign. So maybe we could just move this way a little. So with the Here. backing of the World Trade Organization and international law, Canada is becoming a GMO bully. During the past year, Canada has been issuing ultimatums to European oh, there's another one. That they have to ease their restrictions on marketing and sales of GM food and seeds. 
Oh yeah, we've met you on the way in. I'm a little overwhelmed. The uh, goal is to open the European market I wasn't quite prepared for this, so I had to rush this morning. In particular, genetically modified canola oil. Because I didn't know we were going to stick Canadian it. Government and I didn't want to drive all the way to Kelowna. One tenth of a percent. Doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. Uh, for our community to be contaminated with genetically modified foods that have not been endorsed by Health Canada. The federal government calls this low-level presence of LLP and argues that this low level of contamination from unapproved GM foods is not harmful. It opens a back door for more GM foods from other countries coming into our So, tell us that GMOs are not harmful. Tell the rats from that French study that Heidi mentioned. Or tell the rats from the Russian, or the hamsters from the Russian study, which was the only long-term study, and it involved genetically modified soil fed to hamsters for a period of two years, and it what, resulted in three generations. And probably about, uh, found at the end of the third generation was 14,000 people GM with the surrounds right now. Sterility. They were suffering from infant mortality. Going up and some of those poor unfortunate hamsters had hair growing in their mouths. And that's what genetics will do when we mess with it. So Same what about right us? Yeah. Well, since no long-term studies exist on the impact of GM foods on human health, not one, not one. They're all based on animal studies, and most of them are short animal studies. Our government has a responsibility to be prudent and cautious and exercise something called a precautionary principle. This is recognized as an international principle. Shoulders, shoulder spikes. do no harm. And if there is the slightest chance, the slightest chance at all, that we could be harming the public's health or the environment, then the burden oh. of proof falls on those who are creating the technology and they lots need and to lots prove of that their product is not harmful. That's what we need to demand. Dogs know that GMO sucks. Poison. Unfortunately, at this time, the precautionary principle is not something that is happening in Canada. And since the agriculture is in office, there. Seem to have the ear oh, of our boy, politicians is up to us. Tiny, but the citizens of Canada must demand that the multinational chemical giants like Monsanto, Syngenta, Monsanto's oh, American Kita company, which is a, a Swiss country, Dow Chemical is a, an American company, DuPont, Fass is German, and Bayer is German. It's an international multinational country. And our Canadian government <laughs> held accountable for the decisions they are making that in the long term have serious consequences for humanity, for the animal species, and for our environment. It's nothing like happy David puppies. Suzuki has said, quote, we are performing a massive experiment. Sorry. The results oh, that's okay. I got the camera on my face now. People have been exposed to these foods for decades. Well, we'll uh, go on a march here pretty quick and we'll go through town. Hey, stop that. Stupid or lying? Yeah, I don't think so. Buddy? The hazards of these foods are uncertain. In view of our enormous ignorance, the premature application of biotechnology is downright dangerous. Okay, I better pay attention right there. now our government is failing us on this issue. We must take action. We must take action if we are to save ourselves um, and our children. We was. must take action this, by speaking this dog up wants to know what friends, family, 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 No, you're not playing that. About this very important Get issue. It. We must take action by questioning elected officials as to their position and their party's position regarding GMOs. We must take action by demanding that our government represent our best interests and not yes. that of the multinationals. We must take action by boycotting. He, he, he's kind of just like uh, any in heat. Since he's been in heat for about four, we must take action about by one week into it. Farmers that are growing organic crops. 
The time is now. Tomorrow will be too late. It's up to each and every one of us to stand on guard and keep the true north strong, free, and healthy. We must say no. mention there because uh, Vigneault pointed out that all the uh, politicians were invited. Um, just to mention a couple that actually did show hey, up. Hey, Bear, come on, just come on now. Uh, Alan you Patton sit in the shade the also in the sun, okay? And he actually brought the uh, motion forward twice here in the uh, RDOS to make it a GMO free Okanagan. But, but it was don't cause the trouble. The floor the first time. Okay. Keep, I won't keep mention the peace. To the people that voted it down. We're just going to make try to make sure you don't do it again. Um, well, we gotta give them one chance, you know. After that, you know what? Because I'm getting tired of this too. I don't know what these politicians do. They get in there for three years and they can do it. They can lie, cheat, steal all throughout their uh, three years or four years of their term, and it's okay. You know, I mean, go see the talk about from the store and see what happens, okay. you know. But uh, so this this is a clear stop case here. of you know what? They gotta be held imbalance of you're fired. You know, bye bye. Uh, so Doug comfortability here from over the, uh, authority. First party. Uh, he was the only one, uh, the, the only one of the parties there through the election, the elections that actually oh, had oh, oh, uh, that on side the back platform out. Oh. to make a GMO free here. And just one last added note um, we'll in regards to uh, checking for foods and canola. Uh, just so, because there's a lot of moms out here, and you need to know this, okay? There is no baby food in Canada that does not contain GMOs, okay? So that compromises Did you hear that, mom? the immune system from birth, okay? You, the common mom. Cold Got a source, and that's one thing. No GMOs. Know, what I'm trying to do is find out where all the good stuff was. There's a lot of little uh, mom and pops popping up, making the uh, good organic baby food for your, uh, for you concerned moms there. Uh, okay, so now we're going to introduce uh, some of the farmers here. Oh, look, some new uh, dogs. We got, uh, we got Gord for us. Did you went out for a walk? I met uh, Gord probably about three years ago here, and they've had their farm here in the Okanagan, if I'm not mistaken, since 1974. Oh, cool. so another one. Generation. Lots of dogs. David Suzuki and his family yeah, actually Yeah, dog park is actually just across the so water. He's very well aware, very well awake, and he's one of our local farmers, ethical and organic. At the end of <laughs> the end of Main Street, where the turnaround is. Oh no, we got twins here. <laughs> we're here today to speak for future generations and not only for humans, we're here to speak for the animals. Don't have a voice. <laughs> okay, that's your cue, Clark. They're about to release the GMO album. As you said earlier, that's the compromise of dairy. Our organic dairy, our yeah, aren't they cute? Not only that, we're forced to use animals. They don't have to do it. We're educated, we can choose not to buy. Twins. But labeling with your help. Almost assuredly. Yeah, <coughs> Our eyes are a little rough now. Oh, um, look, and beautiful. Just be really quick. Um, my parents uh, have well, we'll a family come back. down there from uh, yeah, Oliver. Yeah. They left it. My brother and I to run. Back to the speakers. And we um, have a, a endangered weapon on our farm. Our parents always taught us the value of protecting that weapon. But nature had its place. It was valuable as it was. All life was sacred. We could have filled it in. We could have increased our farm. And it made a lot more profit. But they taught us how important all life was. Not only that, they told us that the, that weapon was the owner of property for us to protect, but all life in it was not ours to hold. My father was a great farmer, well, is a great farmer and grower. He taught me to save seeds, to produce our own plants. He taught us the importance of that. Year after year, using your own seeds, worth far more than gold or platinum. Yeah, unless you're trying to right now, get your engine restarted on the reactor, right? Just quickly, <laughs> we 
Did you all know that? Like the plants wouldn't sustain anything. 